as Liz Truss's growth plan is blown to ashes and her credibility reduced to rubble, Ukraine sadly faces ruin of a very real kind. Putin is now pounding civilians with kamikaze drones. A third of Ukraine's power plants have been destroyed in a week. This is a calculated move to starve, freeze and bully Ukraine into submission. And yet today we learn that even the UK's support for Ukraine is now under threat. Another devastating consequence of Truss's reign of error. Defence Secretary Ben Wallace, one of the last few credible Tories left, is here in the US for talks on the war today. His deputy said this. We here in the Ministry of Defence are doing a good job of keeping our nation safe at a time of incredible global insecurity. My boss, Ben Wallace, is in Washington this morning uh, having the sort of conversations that, beyond belief, really, the fact that we're at a time when these sort of conversations are necessary. Well, it is beyond belief. No wonder both he and Wallace have reportedly threatened to quit. Trust promised to double defence spending. Now the new Chancellor, Jeremy Hunt, says no budget saved from cuts. They're cuts he'll have to make because the government's £20 billion worse off than before Trust took office, even after demolishing a disastrous budget. And it's not just defence. Number 10 says Trust is no longer committed to increasing pensions either. But the only thing she seems committed to is squatting in Downing Street, saving her own skin as she made clear in a toe-curling BBC interview. I will lead the Conservatives into the next general election. Definitely. Well, look, <laughs> yeah. I'm not focused on internal debates within the Conservative Party. What the hell is she laughing at? None of this is funny. For some people, it might literally be deadly serious. David Cameron gave us the age of austerity, and it was very painful. This will be known as the age of trusterity. Because there's only one person to blame for this mess, and every day that Liz Truss clings to power, Britain gets poorer.